Hello Leo and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Oh man, okay so then why do we have this? I feel, oh they don't know if you're going to accept them back or not because they really betrayed you. Um, and you, they crossed a line with you, um, collective. I wanted to say cancer. I don't know why. You could be a cancer. Um, you could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Leo energy. You could even be a Scorpio. I feel like this person, though, they're about to come in and tell you how they feel about you. Um, all the illusions are coming down. Like, this person's about to come in and tell you the truth. Uh, they want to apologize. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Scorpio. Um, yeah, they want this beautiful, happy, near their wish fulfillment. They want this happiness. They want the, um, the emotional fulfillment that you gave them. See, I usually am the only reader out here who does this, okay? I feel like I always um, compare the Queen of Swords to the Queen of Cups because I feel like the Queen of she you've got to be in the Queen of Cups energy first before you hit the Queen of Swords, okay? In the past, you gave this person nothing but love. The best love they're ever going to find, as a matter of fact. They're not going to find that kind of love from anybody again. I feel like you had nothing but good intentions for them. You were, you, you were in it ten, to, 10 toes down for this person, okay? And um, I just feel like you really, truly had unconditional love for them. But they have stabbed you in the back for it. Okay, this is someone who gave their all and they got betrayed for it in the end. And I feel like you've been sitting in this throne expecting an explanation of why you deserve to be treated that way. All right. Um, they kept you in a mental prison for uh, what could have been years for some of you, up to nine years for some of you, eight or nine years, right? And uh, you're still waiting. You're still kind of waiting, like, where's the answers? Where's the truth? Where's my closure? Where's an explanation? I want to know what happened, you know? And I feel like no one's given you the truth yet. This person, they want you back. They're coming in to apologize to get their wish fulfillment, okay? This Ten of Cups with you. But they crossed a big line here when they took your love and they stabbed you in the back and left and ghosted you and not given you communication for an extremely long period of time left you standing in the dirt waiting for answers uh, they could have juggled you with someone else this could have been a third party situation you know and i feel like um here's the thing you're a star you're an, uh, an earth angel light worker energy here you could be uh, putting yourself out there in the public eye somehow. Um, social media, maybe your own platform. Yeah. And this person, they want to come towards you with a big old apology. This could be even considered love bombing here. Clarify this Knight of Cups. I feel like they've made their decision. They want to be with you, but they don't know if they're going to get another chance after all that they've done and how long they made you wait for answers. Yeah, they just ignored you. They just ignored you here. I feel like they want to take some kind of action. You know, the King of Wands to me is somebody who takes action and goes after what they want. Um, a very smooth talker, very charismatic. Um... It could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. You could be an Aquarius, uh, Sagittarius, Leo, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Your person could be a, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You're about to hear from this person. They may even give you a little, a little gift I'm, or say, that I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry I didn't give to you then. I want to give to you now. All right. You're, they see you as being an earth angel. I feel like the divine has made it abundantly clear. They've put you in the public eye somehow. You're out here gorgeous, attracting attention to yourself. I feel like, honestly, they, you know, you gave them 
the best love they're ever going to find. You had nothing but good intentions. You were sweet. You were kind. You were giving to this person. You could have even been this person's healer. You know, I see, I, I don't know why I'm seeing so much watery energy here. And I feel like you give like 100% in a love connection. And you you really put forth the effort in this one, or you would have. And this person realizes, man, they should have never crossed the line with you. Because you know what? They didn't, you never gave them a single reason to treat you this way. Not one time. I feel like this person may bring you a gift. They're going to tell you, um, you're about to hear from this person. They're going to want to talk. Hey, can we get together and talk? Um, I have some things I need to tell you. I really want to talk to you, you know. Okay, what else can you show me for this person? I've made a decision. They're going to say, I've made a decision. I know what I want to do. This person could be um, needing to travel a ways to get to you. <clears throat> They've definitely been watching you. And they're watching the wheel of fortune turn in your favor. Um, so a new opportunity is coming for you. I feel like... Uh, you're just hitting a time of luck when things are just coming to you, you know, and happening for you. Uh, you could be getting some, you know, abundance rolling in here, possibly even a small fortune. And I feel like this person, they want to put the work in now. They're, they're watching you. I always see this as somebody who's watching somebody on the Internet. I don't know. So whatever, you, you've got some kind of platform out here. Um... You know, this could even be something like with you mixing up a new soulmate connection here and being in the public eye with everybody watching you and you looking so good. Um, you could even be putting yourself out there on like in um, online dating and this person could have found you on some kind of dating website. I do feel like this is definitely a person from your past, okay? You know, here's another thing, too. This person could send someone else with a message for you to give to you, okay? Please give the collective a message for me. Tell them I'm coming. I'm, I've am i chosen a path. Yeah, okay. So my it's confirmation on that one. My phone just went off. Um, yeah, so that you could be hearing from someone else with a message from this person. Or this could even be something like a letter that comes to you that tells them tells you that they're about ready to travel to come your way. They could live a, a great distance from you, maybe. Feel like they need to get their money up first, perhaps. But in the meantime, I feel like they're being observed here by somebody else. All of a sudden, I've got this page of swords here in the middle. And you're moving forward to an, uh, a new life for yourself, into the new cycle, um, healed and getting over this. You're kind of looking behind you like, are you coming? Are you coming? Um, this person, I feel like they're working on it. They're, they're um, maybe working on growing their money so that they can travel and make a move in your direction. I feel like this person lives in a, new, a different location. Or you could have just moved, and they're going to have to move to you. I feel like um, they know whoever they're around. It's these two cards that are bugging me. <laughs> whoever they're around collective, they've invested maybe years with someone else. This page of swords is very clingy, watching your person's every move. I, I do see them with somebody very clingy here. Thank you, Divine, because of that bracket. So they've been trying to make a decision between you and this page of swords. Okay, you're an earth angel, a star, strength, and the world. Okay, um, I don't know why this person is still hanging out with this page of swords, but I feel like it has to do with money. They may need to get their money right before they make the move to you because I feel like you guys live a distance from each other. 
and they're being watched. They're around someone else. Um, they're they're being observed, okay? And I, they've kind of got their back turned here. They're, uh, they're not giving any more to this Page of Swords energy, I feel. They're not talking to them. All they can think about is you and how to get to you. And maybe that's why they're sending a message out um, through either someone else or it could even be a letter that you receive that this person is trying to get their money straight so they can move in your direction. All these two do is fight. This person feels, they feel very betrayed, okay? They feel very betrayed. Um, there's a lot of fighting going on, okay? And uh, yeah, I feel like there could have even been some spell work done. I feel like this is something that's been hidden, but it's about to come out in the open. It could have been a love spell here. Love spell, some kind of passion spell. But I feel like there's some kind of magic here that's being done with a karmic and a group of feminine energies. You know, this page of wands, this is my STD card as well. I feel like magic has been done on this person. I feel like somebody here has an STD. There's a group of feminine energies working against them, doing nothing but fighting. This person's going to have to fight the good fight to get out of this situation. They are. And, um, and so your person is finding all of this out. Everything's coming out into the open, and now they feel very betrayed. So, yeah, that's a situation that's coming to an end. Um, and I feel like they're heartbroken. Yes, thank you, Divine. All of this is true. And that is why they're completely clear about who you are to them. A twin flame soulmate connection. They've made their decision. They, they know that um, too much has been done to them in the situation that they chose over you. And this person needs to get out of it and break free. I get the sense that they're sending someone else with a message for you first. And then they're coming forward to apologize and tell you how they feel. This is travel, too. I feel like this person needs to travel to come towards you. Yeah, they're really upset. They missed an opportunity here with an empress. They're upset, man. Bad. Well, they're feeling, I mean, they're feeling angry, pouty, like the situation isn't fair. Um, they're feeling very betrayed by this uh, Page of Swords energy. But the Page of Swords is extremely um, immature. I, I feel like all they do is watch. And that's, that's part of the reason they're... Right now, they're really observing everything that your person does because of the spell work, because they, there's somebody here is finding out they have an STD as well. And I feel like, yeah, um, you were the Ace of Cups here, and this person missed out. They're in love with you, Collective. Look, there's that Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy I felt earlier. They see you as their match, and this person, now they want to boss up. They want to get back together with you and they want to commit. Okay? This is a wounded warrior about to approach you. Um, after being highly betrayed, they took ten swords to their back, man, in this karmic situation. But I feel like this person could have also gotten an STD, so be very careful. You know, I would, I would just ask him point blank. <laughs> you know? Is there any chance you have an STD? <laughs> I mean, yeah, this isn't the day and age to be, um, you know, tiptoeing around subjects. Not anymore. Not after everything. So, yeah, definitely talk to this person. I feel like you're going to get a message from them. They're breaking free from this karmic situation here. Definitely a karmic situation. Um, they're in bad health though, so I feel like that has to do with their STD. And, um, yeah, they're coming towards you. They're going to be making some kind of trip or planning some kind of travel here to come towards you and get you back. 
Emperor and the Four of Wands. This person's pretty determined now. Yeah, they've learned their lessons too. They've, they're they bossing up here. They know who it is that they want. Um, they want you back. I feel like this person is, you're going to hear from someone else first or maybe a letter. Yeah, they, they're not about to let you go. They should have never walked away from you in the first place. That's what this person is thinking about. They should have never walked away from you in the first place. And now they're going to, they're begging to God for another chance. Please, please let this communication go well. There's that Ace of Swords there. They're about ready to pick it up and communicate with you. This emperor is not about to let you go. They're having a lot of sleepless nights. This is also travel. I feel like they're, uh, they're headed your way. We've got at least three travel cards out here for you. Um, so, yeah, this person is headed your way. Um, but they're very worried, very hurt. They just got ten swords in their back. Um, very betrayed. Praying to God for another chance with you. You're about to hear from this person, okay? Yeah, and you can sense this. You can sense this energy coming in. Here's the thing. Listen, you don't want to, um, I feel like you don't want to have anything to do with this person, okay? But I'm going to tell you this. You also know this journey, and you know, just like you know that they're coming towards you, you can feel it, you also know that they have to do the right thing. That's part of their journey, okay? It's not, not saying that you have to take them back, but you're about to get your justice after being very wrongfully treated. Let's go back to the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords experience here. You were betrayed, and this person needs to make it right somehow. Whether you take them back or not, this is you getting your justice for that betrayal. And I feel like the divine, um, you know, is sending this person your way. This, the, They're going to come in and talk to you. They're praying for another chance. But the ball's going to be in your court. I feel like you don't want to have anything to do with them. But at least let this person give you their, your justice that you, that you deserve. You see what I'm saying? Let them give you your justice. Allow this person to apologize. They need to do it for their journey, and you need your justice, or at least deserve your justice in your journey. Whether you decide to take them back or not, I feel like you're not going to. You don't want to have any part of this anymore. You're detaching. You're protecting yourself. Um, you're being very silent, very still, um, feeling that energy coming towards you. You know, so you don't have to be with this person again, but the divine is trying to tell you that things are getting balanced. So this is your justice, you know, and this is something that they have to do. They're, they've been needing to come forward and apologize. So take it how it resonates with you, but you're about to hear from someone. There's going to be news that comes in unexpectedly about this person breaking free from the situation and being on their way to you so get ready for that okay get ready for that collective let's see what um the romance angels say what do you have for the collective messages love yourself first okay your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Yeah, um, I feel like you've been the only one in the situation that's had some self-respect. You've known your value, okay? Um, yeah, and this person, they, they're they very passionate for you because of, or about you because of it. Yeah, this is your soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. They want to get married. Okay, they want to get married. They want to have children. That's all of this here. That's this. They want to get married. They want to have kids. This person wants to heal things with you. 
They want to let go of control issues. They're hoping to come in um, and reignite this flame. Okay. Unrequited love. This person that you thought was gone, I'm telling you, look at how this person's showing up to kiss your hand. They're coming in. I, you may not, uh, there may not be enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. That's what this card says. But this is still your justice coming in, Earth Angel. And this is still, this apology is something that they need to do. This is judgment, justice. You know, so I feel like just accept your justice. Um, you may not feel the same way about this person anymore, but they are definitely coming in. They're coming towards you. You know that already, though. I feel like you know that. 